The company behind this is called One Laptop Per Child, laptop.org, and the idea behind this is to make it so inexpensive that poor countries can afford to buy them for their students, their educationally deprived students, in the hundreds of thousands or the millions. But what's really interesting is they're actually going to sell this thing to Americans for two weeks starting November 12th. To me, that makes it fair game for a review. Well, first of all, I have to say, for its mission, it's pretty amazing. Gamepad controller, stereo speakers, built-in video camera. Hello, little camcorder module. The hardest thing about it is figuring out how to open it. Most people fiddle around with it like this, but in fact, what you do is you, you raise the antennas and then you open it like this. Note how clever. The guts of the machine are in the screen, not in the pad. And nothing happens if you get water on here. Thanks. But it's also dustproof, completely sealed, and drop proof. Now think about the environments where this thing is going to be used. Power is going to be an issue. So already it's got a six hour battery that'll last 24 hours if you're just reading. And oh, by the way, here's how you read. Ebook reader. It's also available with a $12 solar panel that's only one foot square that's nonetheless enough to power the thing or to recharge it when it's off. What's especially cool about this battery though is it costs only $10 to replace and it'll last for 2,000 recharge cycles. For reference, that's about four times more recharge cycles than your laptop. Look what happens in sunlight. You can turn the backlighting all the way down to save power and you get this incredible easy to read black and white mode that's like reading a newspaper. One of the coolest things is the heavy emphasis on programming. There are three different programming environments of different degrees of sophistication on this thing. What's really even cooler is if you press this keystroke, you reveal the source code of whatever programming you're using. It's in Python, so you can actually study the way the laptop software itself was written and even make changes to it. Although, yes, there is a restore button that brings back the original in case you really make a mess of things. Of course, the laptops get onto the internet Wi-Fi very easily, but if there's no internet, they can also communicate wirelessly within the classroom via something called a mesh network, an instant self-configuring network. And all the programs are collaborative. So the games, the drawing program, the word processor, all of you can collaborate together on the same... What? Oh.